Hello and welcome to this video demonstration by Genware Computer Systems of TIPCO Spotfire. We at Genware Computer Systems are creating a series of short but powerful videos to assist you in enhancing your data formatting skills and to ensure you get the most out of Spotfire. In this video we will take a look at how to import a dataset into Spotfire, examine the data panel and source view, create multiple and interactive visualizations using the recommended visualization panel, create an interactive map chart, incorporate a text area with filtering capabilities, prepare the analysis for sharing, and save the analysis to a library. Using the Spotfire platform, you have combined internal location by location sales data with purchased market data for the past two years. You have also included marketing data expended to increase market share. We are going to use Spotfire to identify where the marketing efforts have been successful by comparing year-over-year -year sales and market share. There are many forms of datasets that can be loaded into Spotfire, but for our purposes today, the source data file in this demo is contained in the file promotionperformance.xlsx. To import your dataset in Spotfire Analyst Client, select the Add Data tab in the welcome screen and select Open File. Browse to where the dataset is located and double click. The Excel Import Settings screen is opened and you have the opportunity to view a short summary of your dataset. Here you can modify your dataset before importing it into Spotfire. You can select which columns to exclude by deselecting the column here. You can change the data type to a variety of options and make changes to the individual rows of the dataset. When you are happy with your dataset, click OK and wait for it to import. By default, the recommended visualization screen is opened. If the data panel is not visible, you can click on the icon in the toolbar to open it. As you select columns in the data panel, the recommended visualization screen will automatically update and generate possible visualizations for you. Let's select the Brand A sales change year 1 to year 2 and class sales change year 1 to year 2 and compare them by market segment. From the visualizations available, we will use the scatter plot and select add this. The scatter plot is now added to our dashboard. Clear your selections with the link below the columns so we can create a different visualization using different measures and categories. Let's select four new columns. Brand sales year one, brand sales year two, region and store type. We are able to see six different chart options displayed. For our analysis, we would like to use a bar chart, but not the specific one. By selecting the more like this button, Spotfire generates different options of bar charts based on the selected columns. We will select this bar chart and click add this to add the chart to our dashboard. We are now ready to interact with our visualizations. To do this, we click the close button and our dashboard becomes visible. In order to have these visualizations look more appealing, we can rearrange them whichever way we see fit. To do so, we click and drag the visualization in the title area to position it where we want. With our data panel open, we are now able to take a closer look at our data table and make changes to it on the fly. When we import our data, Spotfire automatically arranges our columns into categories. Here we can see numbers and locations. Depending on your data, there can also be categories such as date and time. If we click on the gear icon next to our dataset, the screen expands and we are able to see our dataset in table form. We can add rows or calculated columns, but will not do so in this demo. If we select the data source view tab, we are directed to the screen. Here we can see how our data table is connected to Spotfire. We can select how we want this data embedded within the analysis and see where the source of this data is. There are other data wrangling techniques that we can use to modify our data set within the data panel to ensure we have more user-friendly data. We can split columns, for example, by splitting one column that includes the state and its state abbreviation. We can unpivot data, such as eliminating 52 columns into one column for states, and we can also edit the names for each column. When selecting any columns within the data panel, we can see a brief overview of the column and we have the ability to make any changes to that column. 
If we select the filters icon next to region, we are able to see which regions are included within our dataset. When we right click on this filter and select filter type, we are able to change the filter to a different filter if we want. We now have two visualizations that compare year over year sales for brands by region and store type. In order to make this visualization more interactive, we will add a map chart to our dashboard. To separate the markers on the map chart by region, we can click and drag the region column from the data panel and drop it on the color by icon in the map chart. We can filter our data set further by dragging the Brand A Year 2 Sales column onto the Size By icon on the map chart. To enable our chart to be more interactive with one another, we can open the Properties menu of the map chart by either clicking on the gear icon on the title bar or by right-clicking on the chart and selecting Properties. In the Layers tab, we double-click our dataset used and click the Limit 2 green marking, which is tied to our scatter plot. Ensure the dialog is selected All Data and close the Properties panel. We do the same limiting on the bar chart by accessing the Properties menu and under Data, Limit to Green Marking and ensure that the dialog shows All Data is selected. Any data that we select on our scatter plot will now filter dynamically to both the bar chart and the map chart. We want to allow the end user to filter further down within the dataset per region and store type. To do so, we create a text area and arrange it to where we want it. To add the filters for region and store type, we select the edit icon on the title area and insert the filter for region and insert the filter for store type. We close the text area and save the changes made. Our dashboard is designed but we need to clean it up before we can save it to the library for others to access. We do not need the title bar on the text area and can easily hide it by selecting the gear icon on the title bar and unchecking the show title bar tick box. There is no use for the data panel anymore and we can close it by clicking the close button at the top of it. We can always access it again by selecting the data panel icon on the toolbar. The legend on our map chart is limiting our view of the map. When we select the Hide Show Legend icon on the map chart, the legend is hidden and the chart adjusts automatically. We can resize the text area to allow a better view of the scatter plot. We can also hide the value axis selector and the category axis selector in the bar chart and hide the legend. When we select the red stores in our scatter plot, we see that they indicate the stores that are losing share, growing market, and those are our biggest concern. We are now able to filter down on store types to indicate where the biggest concerns are. With the data selected, we are now ready to save and share our analysis. To save the analysis, we select File, Save As, and choose where we want to save the analysis. You can save it to a file or to a library item if you are connected to a library. Once you have made your selection, you can choose what type of data you want to use in your analysis and for this demo, we will select Store Data. The dataset will be embedded into the analysis and perform tasks based off of that dataset. When we click OK, we can browse either our computer or the library and select where to save and then click Save. The analysis is now saved and available to be viewed by other users who have access to the analysis or the library where it is saved. Thank you for watching this demo with us. I hope you have found it interesting and helpful. Our contact information is on the screen should you wish to reach out to us for assistance or implementing this technique. Thank you.